Now this is a little sad story that happened down in Carlo during the early years of World War II. The sun on Mount Leinster was sinking in shadow. It was the feast of the new year in Sad 41. We had just said goodbye to the old 1940s as into oblivion those old years had gone. A cold winter's evening had enshrouded each homestead in the hills neath the Vale of Knock Row, amongst them the home of John Shannon, so cosy and sheltered, nine near the road and the river below. The music and laughter, the friendship of nature of neighbours, as each hour of amusement passed quickly away, night time and slumber soon was approaching. The Shannons knelt down, their rosary to say. They prayed for the things that each Christian would cherish. They prayed in the peace, beneath the turf fire's bright glow. For they little knew of the fate of tomorrow, when terror would strike and the veil of not roll. The music was silent now. Oh, those violins so charming. Long, long they were played at John Shannon's old place. Alas, they are now like the mute harp of Tara. Their echoes alone, in memory we trace. Mount Leinster stood high on that cold winter's morning. It stood out alone in a blanket of snow. The dawn was approaching to waken its sleepers when terror would strike and the veil of not roll. Death came that morning of terror. It came from the bombs that fell from the air. And lo, in a moment, the house of the Shans was struck by a war shell that nothing would spare. Now look at the place where the house once did stand, just to gaze on the scene that my eyes did behold. My pen cannot pa paint you a picture so awful, no matter how clearly the story was told. Still more sad was the scene by the graves of Rathana, as three coffins one morning were laid side by side. John Shannon's two sisters, his only one daughter, were laid gently to slumber mid sorrow's grim tide. As the last shrouds of earth were placed gently o'er them, then reads from friends as, tri from, as tributes from friends they did know, while the people in prayer the thought of that morning of terror, the doom it did strike, the veil of not grow. The heat on Mount Leinster may change in its colours, in spring, in summer or winter, till come not to stay. But one memory it always will linger, of the doom of not grow on a cold winter's day. Then breathe ye a prayer for the Shannons now sleeping, all friends and mourners, wherever you go, we must all share a feeling of regret and of terror if the doom it struck down and the veil not grow. Friends so 